the economy, they want to crash it in October. It's the beginning of God's wrath and the beginning of the rapture. Jesus is returning. We're all going to get nuked anyway, so you might as well be with Jesus and forget everything else. You know, and actually, I agree with that, but that should be any day of your life. Every day of your life could be the last day you live, you know. You got to have a, not just a relationship, it's just, it's, it's, you got to be all in with God. You know, you just give up. You just give up your life. You just go with God. That's it. I ask you now, Lord, to help me not cuss anymore, please. In Jesus' name, I hate it. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm, I'm, I can help it. No, I can't help it. And I apologize. I can't help it. It just wrecks the vibe, you know. It's like you don't need to go there. That's like the worlders, the, 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 uh, the, the earth dwellers, they do that. I don't want to be like them. I'm not like them. It might be coming like, don't send me to, then take me out of here, Lord. <laughs> Either way, I don't care. Um, I guess at this point, you know, I'm still, I haven't given up. My mind is very sharp. I haven't started reminiscing about the good old days. I haven't started losing my memory about things. You know what I mean? I haven't, I haven't gone that way. I fought, I fight to keep on the edge. And I just, I saw a glimpse of something where the Lord is saying, now is the time. So for all of you out there, here's what the Lord said to me that I'm sharing with you. Now is the time. And it's not just a typing exercise. Now is the time. Okay. And it means that those things that you've been held back from, those things that are, I know this is the opposite of the September 23rd thing, but those things that you have not been able to do, those, those things that, uh, you know, you've, you've wanted to do, but felt blocked, you know, forget about that. Let the past go. That's okay. Now is the time. You know, you may, maybe you were held back for a reason. Maybe God held you back for a reason. Some of you, you know, that I know that are like in the music realm, you know, sure, you deserve to be a, uh, you know, a going thing. But maybe that would have ruined you. Have you ever thought about it that way? That had you really got what you thought you wanted, you might be wrecked today with God. But anyway, that aside, let's set the past aside for now. Okay, this I'm saying let's. I'm not dictating to you what to do. You don't have to do anything I say. Set the past aside and all the past hurts and blocks and betrayals and all the things how people screwed you over and did you in and ignored you and whatever else happened. Trauma from your, you know, parents, your peers. I know people that are in the film business who, you know, their family just has no respect for them and you know who you are. I'm sorry. Forget about that though. And all that hurt. Now is the time. That door is going to open now. No, don't go invest all your money in the uh, Trump economy. My name is Kim Clement. No, I'm not doing that. No, um, you know. Well, you know, he passed on. I mean, I, I, I didn't mention that, but I mean, for people that may not know, he passed on. And that's why Kat Kerr was out there with her little evangelical thing going on. He's, he's, he deserves a place in heaven and here's why, you know, and. I guess there's a controversy about that. I guess I'm not the only one that noticed he, uh, his uh, ongoing litany of false predictions. Well, he did predict that one thing, though. You know, when was that, 1979? <laughs> I'm not here to say anything. I'm just here to say, look, in that particular regard, when you, you know, he did, who are you to, dictate and lecture to God anyway. He did who are you talking to? He deserves a what you want to, you think a consensus of people agreeing, yeah, he deserves a place in heaven. Is that gonna you know, my God man, what kind of a talk is that about? It's absurd. It's moronic. It's it's insulting. The dredging of the yo, know, he's gone, it's gone, it's over Forget about it. Move on. Yeah, I saw a thing today with Laird Hamilton, who was like a, um, I mean, if there's anybody that was kind of like a Herculean hero, I guess to me it would be him because he was like the greatest innovator of surfing and wave riding and 
adventure, skiing, play. You know, he's just like uh, what we used to love to read about when we were kids, you know, the adventures of so-and-so and, you know, little novels about adventures. Well, here's, here's a genuine article. And you wouldn't believe it. He's got a movie coming out about his life, right? Or it's already out. It was at Sundance, and now after Sundance, it's going to be, it's going to be released. So you'll eventually see it. And I can't wait. It's going to be great. And he's a real, you know, he's, he's, you could check up on him. He sells the creamer and he does stuff and you see him. He's got his wife, Gabby, and they, they moved from the islands to Malibu some years ago and he got involved in various business adventures and whatnot. But anyway, and I certainly don't disparage him in success, but boy, there's a lot of bitter people out there. Just like Alex Jones. I, I hope he ends up with more money than, uh, than Solomon. I mean, I don't care, but see, I see people fall. the Christians, they, they just, oh, he couldn't be, oh, look at that, he's too successful, you know, and they fall apart with jealousy and anger, and I, I can't believe, give him more money, Lord, more, God, make those people completely trigger out of their minds. It doesn't matter.